So, let's look at this as a bit of pre, uh, pre-production planning thing, shall we? Is is that like sometimes it's not about the uh, actual subject; it's about camera placement, right? So, before we do that, right? A, a, a most common thing that people tend to shoot are weddings, right? You know, hey man, you got a camera, man, can you shoot my wedding? They won't ask you if they didn't trust you because, you know, it's important to them. But a common thing is weddings. Now, a wedding is something that you have one take and you have to get it right. Yeah? And it also is a good example of planning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, in the storyboard of a wedding, you always will have at the front of whatever area you are, you will have the vicar, the bride, and the groom. Right? Always. It's common. You always have the best man and the maid of honor. You always have like dear old dad giving the daughter away. Yeah? So that will be always. Lectures are like that. Lectures are like you'll always have the speaker and you'll always have the audience. What's the point in lecture if you don't have an audience? <laughs> so, in a wedding, there will always be two rows of people. Right? Whether it's an outdoor wedding or it's an indoor wedding. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. So, and it always happens the same way. Bride comes down. Da, da, da. Comes down, right? So, to shoot this, how many cameras would you need? One in the back, one at the front, and then maybe something on the audience. One maybe. Coming down. One so, one in the, the back, one in the front, and uh, tell me where in the back. Well, you'd want to direct back view of the wedding party, wouldn't you? Back middle, back middle. Uh, I would have your team, or if I, if so you're working like a, the, you're <laughs> your team, or you're working together. Uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. By the number of cameras on it, you know, you could say. Like, Go ahead, man. I'd, I'd probably have three, and I'd probably have one looking at the bride as she's walking in. So to the left hand side of where the audience is. Left hand side. I'm sorry, I have kind of just left. Left. That's it. Yeah, right down. The Go down to the bottom. Over here? Yeah, I'd probably have one round about there looking at her coming in. So it would capture that? It would capture her coming in. Uh huh. One close to where the bride and groom are as a, a bit of a temporary position to look at the bride coming down the aisle. Uh, close to where the bride and groom are? Yep. Yeah, you mean like here? Uh, yeah, either side, probably there to capture her coming down. Probably? You gotta give me a, a definitive okay. answer. Uh, to, the, to the right hand side. Oh, yes. Then. Yeah, put it there, right there. Put Here? It, slightly over, keep going. Here? Do the way, do the way. There? Right in the middle, pretty much. That's you it. would put a camera here? I, I would, a temporary, just to capture it walking down the aisle. <laughs> Temp that's what I would. I said you were going to get fired. <laughs> right? So you put a camera there, so where would he move to? And then I'd move him to the side. Which side? Um, I'm being pedantic. Which side? Left <laughs> side, right side. I'd probably right move to the, well, I was going to say to the left side for the reason being the men stand to the right hand side, don't they? Men stand over here? So I'd probably put them to the left. So that means you got the camera next to the men? There's three people receiving a bride coming down the aisle? Oh, okay. There's an audience here, right? I'll stick to the day job, I think. <laughs> probably, but, you know, it's the point though, right? Yeah, sure. It's planning, isn't it? Sure. Do you ever plan what you're going to shoot, like this lecture tonight? No. Well, in fairness, myself and Zella are kind of doing the events, so we haven't even... <laughs> you don't, you don't even have, talk to each other. No, we have our own plan. No, no, we, said, we, we said to Will, why don't you film me? And, said, yes. and then you just said, you know what? Why don't you film Will? We don't have a clue. And then Will goes... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, in fairness, I'm not, I'm not, that was probably an awful lot that we did. All right, yeah. all right, um, all right. Let's, let's, let's continue firing you. Uh, where's the third camera that you said you would have? And you still didn't say where this camera's going. Sorry. Sorry, Chase, I'm desperate for the loot up. Okay, you still didn't say where this camera's going. I'd probably have one in the set. Where the I mean, first. he has to move, doesn't he? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to go anyway. When? Um, when she's coming down the aisle. 
But I, 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 you'd want it. Uh, she's coming down there, so you could have that view. So you're gonna stay there until she actually walks into him. I, well, maybe slightly as soon as she starts to come down the aisles. As long as got a couple of seconds or so, then you can. A couple of seconds, you to flash. So these, you got two guys right here. Yeah. You got the maid of honor right there, and you're in the middle, right? And yeah, stuff for the for the wedding photos. Yeah, and like, um, but. So let's just say where did he, where does he end up at? Maybe maybe I'd cut him in with what you just said, and I'd put him where the aisle. I put him at the center where yeah. she walks in and does a right. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably put him there. You put her. You put a camera here. I would. You already got a camera there, so you're gonna film your other camera. Slightly back, further back, so it wouldn't be in shot. Further back here. Yeah. What what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just then he can capture you walking down the aisle, you'll see the Bro, audience. Bro, he can capture her butt walking down the aisle. Well, no, but as in, you'll be able to see the whole ceremony then. Yeah, you? you'll be able to see the whole ceremony, but like, you got a camera here though, right? But his specific role is to capture her walking in. Yeah, 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 to catch her walking in, not to see the church. Yeah. So when, <laughs> when, when she walks in for that two seconds, then mm -hmm. what does he do? I'll probably put them on the sides then. Side. <laughs> Over here? Yeah, at the two far sides at the end. Two far sides? This is one camera. Yeah, but you've got the other guy coming out of your one. Oh, just for the side of my misery when you check. Yeah, I think that might be wise. <laughs> 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 alright, 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 alright. Let's, 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 let's save you because we already know that doesn't work. Anybody will? You're, you're the guy who they turn to, so yeah. where would these cameras go? I would put one. One camera only. In to the left of the party, if it, you're about there, zoom in on her coming in and follow her down the aisle and then film. So is your camera there. here or bit, is it up here? A bit further back, yeah. Up here? Yeah. Like about here? Yeah? Yeah, behind the, yeah. Behind the flower pot and stuff. So you got a camera back there, yeah? One camera that's going to shoot the whole wedding? No, I don't think I'm not that far back, a bit further over, a little bit further forward. It's over here? Yeah. And from there, zoom in to her coming in, follow her down the aisle from there, and then film everything from that one position. Okay, you film everything from there, but one camera. Mm -hmm. You know what your issue is, Will? <laughs> You're like the Lone Ranger. Seriously. Well, I mean, is it that you don't trust anybody? Is it, is it that you feel like you have to do it all yourself? Pretty much. I so kill you if you were shooting my wedding with one camera. Huh? Right in, in the middle of it all, in the, in the front, not necessarily in the middle, but you know. In the front? In the front, and the, one of the pews maybe, if you can get a speck there. You can go like into that. one of the pews. Maybe you can get something, not back, not in anyone's way. Not in anyone's but, way. But, but try to balance it with... You 67 this. cameras and <laughs> one camera. <laughs> <laughs> you see the faces, you see what I mean? Yeah, you see the yeah, faces yeah, of the people yeah. who are sitting here. <laughs> no, 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 get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of that. All right, all right. Yeah. You can't have front row seats for this wedding because <laughs> yeah. I really so, feel that I need yeah, to actually be in here. Film, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay, here we go. I'm right in here, right next to uh, the mother in law. Yeah, she's stuff. enjoyed that. She's not on film herself. Right. So she, she <laughs> you want to give it a yeah. shot before I put you out your memory? Didn't I? I, no, I you didn't. gave it a shot and you laughed no, at me. When, when was that? <laughs> Wait, what did you say that I laughed at? I said I would have three cameras. One following I at that one. behind her as she comes down the aisle. So where? Here? One following her as she actually walks down the aisle. Right here? Um, so we, you'd start as she comes through the door, so you'd come up yeah, behind so is it right her and walk behind her, yeah. Okay, so you're going to walk down the aisle with her? Following her, but no, like everybody well, else? No, the camera zooming in oh, zoom, as, she, zoom down the aisle. Okay. as she goes down. Yeah. Okay, and then where's the other two? I'd have one sort of next to the vehicle, not right next to the vehicle, but somewhere where you could actually film yeah, right from without being in the way. So is it here or yeah, here? Yeah, somewhere like that, to film the wedding itself. Yeah, so one camera there, yeah. yeah. So you can see the bride and groom and not the vicar almost, you know, so you mm -hmm. can see them making their vows. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'd have a camera sort of to the, either the left or the right of the audience so that you can actually pan across and see some of their faces and so here somewhere yeah uh, whichever side was better when you know and you can come across the audience as well that's what i would do okay so here yeah i think so again not in the way but 
What's what's your name again? Zoe. 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 Well, Zoe, I will have to say that you have been the most closest to the answer. You have been the closest one. Yeah. That means you win out of the group. They should listen more to you. <laughs> All right. We already know why that doesn't work, right? Oh uh, no no, uh, that was only. I know I know I know, yeah. but we know why it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> now, this camera back here, first of all, <laughs> can easily shoot the bride and her daddy. Can easily pan and shoot her walking down the aisle, right? Or it can back up to this position, which is not that bad. So that means it can start here actually, instead of being right here. It can start here so people, so the uh, groom can actually see the bride and not the camera. So so right here. It's just that, like, that camera that you put in here can actually easily move over, right? Then it catches that, and then it can easily move to the back of the room after she's going down, right? This camera up here is the best position. Why? Because it's over the shoulder of the vicar, and it's straight on to the bride and groom. No camera, no nothing. It's just seeing them deliver their vows to one another. So whether it's here or here, this is the best position. It gets the whole wedding party. It gets the wide of the audience as well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This camera that is here, staying back here, zooms all the way in to get the back of the bride and the groom. But it also can get the vicar, who's always a bit raised anyway, isn't he? And stuff, because it's like a holy trinity. And it gets the vicar delivering his, his uh, uh, sermon. Doesn't get this camera because it shoots shoot straight in. So this is already perfect camera placement without anything else. If you had only two cameras, you could shoot the wedding with these two cameras. But the third camera is gravy because the third camera being over here or here shoots either the uh, bride, close-ups, the bride and the maid of honor, daddy, yeah, the two of them, right, the vicar, or the audience. So this camera here has to really know what he's doing because it's the, what we call the cutaway camera. So when you have three cameras, that's the importance of a third one. It's because either the third one is doing one or two things, right? Well, let's just say it's doing two that thing, cutaways, because it's getting all of this, everything. While this one here is what we call the master camera. You know, some of us don't like that term, so even master, but they use it in, in, in video editing all the time. <laughs> the master camera is the wide camera, and I guess everything. <laughs> it gets the whole wedding. That doesn't move. Get the whole wedding, and the wedding gets captured. Yeah? Everything else is gravy. This camera is the close-up camera. And that camera gets the close-up of the bride and the groom. It gets the audience, but mainly gets close-up of the bride and groom. Now, if you're really clever, and if you position yourself just right, whether here or here, you can actually get the uh, transference of the rings. Yeah? And everything. You can get the crying, you can get the tears, and stuff like that. You get the vowels from either or. Either or. So uh, this cutaway will get like that person. Now, the reason why this side is a good side is because this side will often capture the bride, who is the most important when it comes to selling the wedding video. <laughs> because everybody wants to know how beautiful and how much money was spent on a bride's makeup, Veil, everything. So if you're shooting her, then they're loving you. But if you're shooting mommy and daddy who are over here, they're loving you too. Yeah? You're shooting all the friends and people who showed up, they're loving you. Also, you capture the bride coming down the aisle. So you're capturing, you know, like her coming down, that's capturing her coming down, that's capturing the husband waiting. Yeah? So it's kind of like you can see, like, boom, you're capturing everything. So, this is a very simple process, but it works for everything. Yeah? Can you, can you understand 
that with three cameras, you have a master camera that shoots the wide of everything.